What is 25 years too old for? Story 1. As a 25-year-old teacher who teaches 14 to 18-year-olds, the sound of that makes me want to throw up. My dad, 72, has a girlfriend, 30, who is younger than me and they've been together for like 8 years now. At first I figured he was having a little fun after the divorce and she was getting the financial support of an older man. Nope. She has her master's degree and makes more money than he does. He's tried to break it off, but she doesn't want someone else. She's a weird one. Story 2. Worrying what other people think. It was such a great day when I realized I didn't have to keep seeking ambiguous approval from random people. Sure, there's people whose opinions I value, but as for the general public, I don't have to try and appease some norms and I can relax and be myself. I'm 25 and I'm quite an anxious person. I don't really know how to not worry about what people think of me. Story 3. It's too old to go another year without starting your D&D career. You need to establish yourself with a group of friends who will age with you as you continue your campaigns together. Otherwise, you end up like me. A closet dork who is just now coming to terms with the fact that I've always wanted to play it, but was too afraid to ask someone to show me. Now I'm older and trying to teach myself and I have no one to play or guide me. Check out your local hobby shop. Usually places like that have D&D campaigns, Magic the Gathering or Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments, and many more things. It's a great way to meet other people and see what's out there. Story 4. Interpersonal Drama If you don't get along with Jessica in marketing, or feel the urge to fight your significant other's side piece, then you're acting like a child and you need to grow the fuck up. At 25 years old, you can choose who you associate with. If everyone in your social circle is an asshole, then move to a different social circle. Be friends with people who go to work, pay their bills, abide by laws, and don't lie to their romantic partners. If you're hanging out with drug dealers, drug addicts, cheaters, and bums, then you're just asking for drama. If you're willingly spending time with drama queens, that's because you're a drama queen too. Grow up. Uh, I don't know. I think... Annoyance or anger towards someone's side piece isn't very childish. It's very natural human behavior in the face of infidelity and betrayal. The part where someone is a child or not comes out from they respond or act to those emotions. I understand the point you're trying to make, though. Story 5. The Swing with the Leg Holes at the Park My friend did this when he was 17, got stuck, and the fire department had to come get him out. The best part was, because he was a minor, they made him call his dad to come pick him up. This was many years ago, but I like to remind him of this as much as possible. Teacher here told a big first grader multiple times not to get into that swing because I could see him eyeing it up. Looked away for two seconds and guess who jumped into it? He was lifting himself by the chains to try and get out and then dropping when his arm strength gave out, wedging himself further into the swing instead. I told him if we couldn't get him out, we'd be calling the fire department. Thank God another teacher was able to help me. He never went near those swings again. Story 6. For starting a career as a competitive gymnast. I'm 54, but as soon as zero gravity gymnastics becomes competitive, I'm going for gold. Story 7. Learning that actions have consequences. You can't just undo things or backpedal your way through life. Regretting them won't help either. Instead of dwelling over the past, one should use that past as fuel for the future. What you once did wrong shouldn't be repeated and instead do the right thing instead. Story 8. Not being able to do basic chores yourself and relying on parents and partners to do them for you. I think I read too many am I the assholes. I'm 30 and sadly was so pampered and taken care of until like 23. Even after moving out from my dad's at 18 that I'm still learning new basic things. In fact just earlier today my sister was over and showed me the proper way to sweep. I always use it as a cautionary tale for others to make sure that they learn and teach the kids. It's a nice sentiment to want to take care of them, but there has to be a line. Story 9. A banana. Most bananas I get barely last a week. I think that after 25 years, it's time to throw it out. Have you tried freezing it? Mom definitely has a 25-year-old banana in her freezer. She's planning to make banana bread any day now. Story 10. It's sleeping in the car and waking up in your bed. It took me a minute to process that this doesn't mean you passed out drunk in your car while driving and then woke up at home afterwards. Story 11. I'm not going to therapy. Bro, I promise it will help. Man to man, you need to address what's going on in your brain. That shit with your parents, your ex, the anger you have inside that comes out when you're drunk. Dog, you aren't broken. You just need someone to help you untangle that shit. Do you really want to be this stressed and alone in your 30s, dude? 
You don't even have to tell anyone you're going, dog. Just go. Story 12. Not knowing how to do basic life maintenance and house upkeep. No excuse not knowing how to do your laundry and have at least a few basic meal recipes that you can make for yourself. I understand even financially some people still need to live with their parents at 25, but not knowing how to keep yourself maintained and contribute to your family on basic cleaning and cooking tasks is not acceptable. Story 13. My coworker, I'm 20 and he's 26, brought up Snapchat and some girl he knew. He remarked on her snap score, number of how many pictures and texts you've sent over time, and how high it was, how she must be a hoe, a homie hopper, attention whore, etc. While I'm staring at him like, seriously? You're 26 and you're worried about some random girl on Snapchat who you don't even associate with. I pretty much said that and he was all, it is really crazy like no one gives a fuck about that stuff so why would you send so many pictures? Obviously you give a fuck. Weirdo behavior. Story 14. Not cleaning up after yourself. We had a 25 year old house guest last summer. One night he walks into the living room and goes, Sorry guys, I clogged the toilet upstairs. We thought it was weird that he brought it to our attention, so we laughed it off and assumed he took care of it. Nope. We walk upstairs an hour later to find the toilet filled to the brim with shit water. When I confronted him about it, he goes, Oh, well, where I grew up, somebody else would always take care of that for you. I later found out the kid grew up extremely wealthy and would just tell the maids and housekeepers to clean up his shit-clogged toilets. Story 15. Screaming, I'm done, when on the toilet. Come wipe my butt. I have a brother who is 10 years older than me, and I thought his friends were the coolest. Apparently, I'd regularly mortify them about the age of four, because I would shout that, I wanted friends to come wipe me. Story 16. I am O because it turned into an addiction. I'm going to say drinking every day or too much partying. Cool it down before it's too late. As a 25-year-old who lives with similar aged roommates, I notice it's about this age one starts reflecting on that party lifestyle and either addresses it or doesn't. Story 17. Committing petty crimes. 25 is just about the age where what I call the newspaper effect starts to set in. If you read Local Man 24 Arrested For and So Petty Crime, you think he's just a kid. If you read that the same thing about someone 25 plus, you assume they're a piece of trash that won't get their life together. Yeah, at that point I'm wondering where their ambition is. Like, grow up and rob a fucking bank or something. None of this piddly shit. Story 18. Shitting in your pants at work. Good. Think I'm still 24. Depends on the context. Shitting your pants at work on accident is something you should have grown out of by the time you're 25. However, standing in the middle of the office, grabbing everyone's attention and then purposely shitting yourself with full commitment is something that demands nothing but respect and should definitely be done after the age of 25. Story 19. Too young to die and too old to eat off the kids menu. What a stupid age. Story 20. Dating minors, not to be confused with minors. They are some pretty hardworking people. Margaret Thatcher had a policy to screw minors, so did Jimmy Savile. Story 21. Making mistakes and blaming everyone else, thus never learning and living in a cycle of bad choices due to lack of self-awareness. I feel like that's a lot less of an age thing and more of a maturity and willing to learn and get better thing. Got elders doing that as often as kids and every year in between. 